in the Herald, the story reads, use current rains for early land preparations. Following the rains being experienced in parts of the country, farmers' unions have urged farmers to take advantage of the subsequent moist soils to do early land preparation for the 2024-25 cropping season. Tobacco Farmers' Union Trust President Mr. Victor Mariranyika said farmers in areas that have received rain should start plowing in order to retain moisture. Now, looking at the Herald still, Zimbabwe introduces injectable HIV drug. Zimbabwe has introduced a head. <laughs> Cabotagravia long-lasting um, Kabla, an injectable pre-exposure prophylaxis drug to add to the HIV prevention regime in the country. The drug, an ARV designed to suppress any infections as it occurs, is for HIV negative people who are a high risk of uh, who are at high risk of becoming infected with HIV. Oh, wait a second. How exactly is this going to play out? What do you mean? How is it going to play out? Um, how how how? It's a pre-exposure drug. Of course, yes. Yeah. But I'm saying, um, do we have any information as yet in terms of um, who w will be uh, the recipients of that and how exactly things will play? So out? we don't have the details. Um, well, of course, the details are in the Herald. I don't mm -hmm. have them now. Uh -huh. uh, but the details are in the Herald as to how it will be distributed, for example, um, which centers will have it and what are the procedures for it. Uh, but they've mentioned that this will, they risk. will be they will be actively targeting high risk. High risk. So this yeah. means that we are looking at. Um, um, workers in the oldest profession. Um, <laughs> Let me just open it. Yes, yes, uh, we're looking at those. We're looking at um, also healthcare practitioners who find themselves interacting um, uh, on, a, on, on a very high level of, so for example, those who find themselves having to handle injuries. People with injuries, for example, they are very highly exposed because you, we know one of the methods of transmission is if you happen to have injuries on, of your own and you interact with blood of an infected person, then there is a chance of you getting. So a lot of people in the medical uh, sector as well are also high risk because of some of these elements and factors that come into play. Um, you'd be looking at... Paramedics. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Um, so these are just some of the high-risk groups that they will be targeting. Um, also, I think, uh, I'm hoping that they also spread out um, to our rural areas where we do have high rates of um, early child marriages um, that kind of leave our girls, our young girls, vulnerable to whatever it is that comes with that family setup. So there are all these scenarios that I'm hoping they've taken into consideration. But there is more information on that in the Herald this morning. So you can grab your copy uh, as you're heading out, going to work. Or even if you just want to look at it on your tablet or on your phone, you can also access it via that. Uh, right, of course. Um, just one last one in the Chronicle. Marwari gets coaching job in England. Former Warriors captain Benjamin Marwari has landed a coaching gig at Plymouth Argyle Academy as he seeks to further sharpen his football mentoring skills. Fondly known as the Undertaker during his playing days, the Axe Man City and Portsmouth striker, who also had a successful playing stint in France is a holder of a UEFA coaching license. Well, quite um, a leap there for Benjani Marwari and perhaps could be, uh, you know, the coming in of uh, brighter days for him, of course, post um, his uh, football playing a career, of course, where um, he had a phenomenal stint, of course, in different parts of Europe. Konapo Konapo, Ipapwe Papo Pazetien Prime, DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.